Hello and welcome to Leo's Tech Talk. This video is about Legacy Power Safe PS Pole in 802.11a and 802.11g modes. The client in active mode transitions to power save mode and retrieve data buffered in the AP by PS Pole mechanism through a certain sequence. Let us discuss in detail. In PS Pole, Frames are transmitted between the access point and client with diff separation. Station in active mode transitions to power save by sending a null frame with power management bit set to 1, to the AP. A null data frame is typically used by the station, where the power management bit is set to 1. AP responds with an acknowledgement frame to validate the change successfully. From then the AP buffers eligible frames including the data frames, disassociation and deauthentication frames that are addressed to the station, also the multicast and broadcast frames. The client wakes up at every listen interval and verifies the TIM field is set for it in the beacon frame. When the client sees the TIM field is set for it in the beacon, sends PS pull to the AP with power management bit set to zero. PS pull frame capture. PS pull frame format. AP sends acknowledgement for the PS pull frame from client. AP sends the first data frame to the client. Client sends acknowledgement for the data frame. Since the more data field is set to 1 in the received data frame, the client has sent another PS pull and this continues until the more data field is set to 0 in the last received data frame and the client goes to sleep after sending the acknowledgement frame for the data frame. In case the client returns to power save mode after sending acknowledgement frame for the last data frame it received, and the AP fails to receive this acknowledgement frame, the AP retries transmission of this MSDU until the relevant retry limit is reached. The acknowledgement frame for the PS poll frame is optional. Thank you for watching.